May we call on the Vietnamese Ambassador of the, to the Philippines, His Excellency Trong To Yang. His Excellency Rodrigo Duterte, President of the Republic of the Philippines. Honorable Secretaries, Commissioner, Mayors, Congressmen, I'm deeply moved today. And uh, it is a great honor for me also to witness the send off of 17 Vietnamese fellow. They are fishermen and they are Vietnamese nationals. They have been here for not very long and they are really lucky that today, by order of His Excellency President Duterte, they are free to return home on their own vessels with all fuel and food and other supplies, perhaps even more than enough provided by the Philippine government. It was not long ago when President Duterte visited my country, Vietnam. During his meeting with my president, His Excellency Pres President Duterte came to know the plight of 29 Vietnamese fishermen who were caught on 8 September this year inside the territorial waters of the Philippines. Kind and generous as he has always been in view of the good relationship between the Philippines and Vietnam, especially when the two countries have become strategic partners without hesitation. He promised that he would order the immediate release of those fishermen and offer them all necessary provisions that they can return home safely. And today, together we are here to witness that such a promise has been brought to reality. I'd like to take this opportunity, first of all, to convey my president, His Excellency Trần Đại Quang's profound gratitude to His Excellency President Duterte for the swift and steadfast realization of his promise. We, the Vietnamese people, especially the fishermen, who are now going to return home today, as well as their family members, who forever in debt of such an act of goodwill, a kind and humanitarian gesture by you, Mr. President, and the Philippine people. I'd like to express our gratitude to all concerned authorities in the Philippines, especially the Bureau of Immigration and Deportation, the Department of Justice, the Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources for their concerted efforts in facilitating the release of the captured Vietnamese fishermen. for the Ilocos Sphere and Suar authorities and people. I would like to express on behalf of our fishermen and their families our deepest gratitude for allowing them to stay in your home. I'm glad to see that all are in good shape as they say farewell to you and depart for home today. All of you have truly been the good reflection of human compassion, and I believe our fishermen shall forever treasure your kindness and hospitality during their short yet enriching stay here in the Philippines. Your Excellency, Mr. President, you have done more than words can express. Therefore, 
I would like to close my remarks of gratitude here and wish you all the best and great success and in your noble cause for the prosperity of your people. Once again, thank you. Maraming salamat and mabuhay. Thank you very much, Ambassador Trong Tu Yong. May we call now on Commissioner Morente to introduce our president. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome the President of the Republic of the Philippines, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Thank you. Kindly sit down. Tung uh, si Morente used to be my city police director. Uh, sa Davao. Isa rin siyang nademanda noon sa extrajudicial killing. Pero hindi totoo yan. Man, uh, Lucano ka ba, Bong? Kasi karamihang ano, ang sundalo natin kasi sa Pilipinas, dalawa lang. It's either the Ilonggo or Ilocano. Yan lang. Ito lang yung tala sumasabak ng Bohol, Cebu, Leyte, wala yan. Uh, walang, walang nagsusundalo. Ay, 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 kukunti lang, if at all. But uh, we get most of our, our reserves, uh, soldiers, from the Ilo, uh, Iloilo region and itong Ilocano territory. Yan ang pinakamaraming sundalo, pati opisyal natin. And uh, they have served well Davao. Marami yan sila dito. And even uh, Admiral Casillian, um, Stako, he's over there, he's from Pangasinan. He used to uh, captain siya ng, noon sa Naval, Naval District 7, if I'm correct. Uh, the ambassador, Trong Jung Jung of uh, Viet, uh, the Vietnamese uh, country, Secretary Delphine Lorenzana, Ilocano rin ito. Si Secretary Tagiwalo, Ilocano ka rin, ma'am? Ilongo. Ilongo, nga eh. Sorry. <laughs> Secretary Esperon is from here. Uh, Representative Dipaldo Batuil is also from here. Si Mayor Amado Espino III, uh, of course. At may uh, kasama ko sa mga trabaho sa gobyerno, then Lieutenant General Duby Miranda, the Vice Chief of Staff, if he's on. Hi, sir. Welcome. Ilocano rin. Basi ang dabo ko Ilocano na. <laughs> Doon na lahat eh. Uh, uh, <clears throat> you know, we, uh, today we live in a very complicated uh, uh, international uh, uh, relations. Global and uh, lahat. You know, the EU would want the best for them, and sometimes they intrude into our path. And uh, ito namang America wanted to control both sides of the Atlantic and Pacific. Gusto nila yung Pan-Pacific uh, uh, Pan partnership. Ma, these are the things that affect us uh, itong uh, maliliit uh, on the ultimate at the end of the day, ang lugo nito, ang lugi nito itong mga maliliit. Yung mga mayaman na uh, uh, nations, for example, they want to, mga ISO, and a, a lot of uh, so many things that makes it hard for us to survive. That is why we place importance sa uh, ASEAN. It's a, kaya tayo, neighboring uh, each other, and, uh, Ito, we have to, to sometimes uh, do something to protect our interests. Kasi may APIC na, then there's another WTO, at saka mayroon pang iba. 
And these are actually all impositions on our government. Kung sabay-sabay lang sana tayong umakyat sa civilization na ganon, okay lang. But you know, other countries, uh, I said, invaded other uh, territories and made them colonies, Philippines, uh, Vietnam, lahat. Uh, well, Vietnam was almost 1,000 years uh, under China. But gan ganyan ang laro ng geopolitics. But one thing that we should not forget is that tayong mga orientals, eh, importante sa atin yung, yung self-respect dignity.